everybody. We're uh, on our way to the Northeast Kingdom trying to uh, forage some fiddleheads myself, but on the way, one of the coolest abandoned spots I've ever come across. Nice abandoned art building, experimental architecture. Not sure how much I'll explore it here today, but you know, stop by while we're on the way. Even though it's just a detour on the adventure today, it's kind of fun hanging out in an abandoned space like this, because I imagine this uh, might be what the world looks like when I need to use my foraging skills to survive. Back here in a uh, northern Vermont floodplain forest. I've actually been here like five years in a row now. There's some older videos on my channel that are uh, kind of funny if you look back on uh, different times that I've been here if you do go back that far. But I was out here looking for fiddleheads and I think we're a bit early on this adventure. But it's all right. It's more of a fact-finding mission anyway. This is actually right behind like a little town. So you'd imagine this is some place that a lot of people know about and uh, it's just kind of this interesting next or side of the river right in the back of the town. So I think this is like a great example of kind of like the mix of human habitation and how it affects the landscape. You can see there's like all kinds of trash flowing in here. It's a really nice time of year, honestly, just seeing all the flooded water and this like popping green around us. You can see somebody's Christmas tree over there, all kinds of fun stuff. But um, yeah, not every place is a super nice and remote piece of forest land. Sometimes you're just in the back of a city park uh, full of trash, but simultaneously incredible natural communities and ecology playing out all around you. And that's one of the reasons why I like coming here too. It's kind of like a case study. Sometimes it's not even really about getting out and harvesting things so much as like visiting the same places every year and just seeing how they change and what's going on with them. So definitely early on the fiddlehead. So yeah, I think we maybe just pick up some trash out here and enjoy the adventure. The other thing that's really cool about being in an area so close to human habitation, right in the back of a city, 
is you see a lot more of the invasive plants like garlic mustard that you just saw or you know something like a burdock root which you can see right over here yeah all these plants that um you know they can be controversial whether they're you know beneficial to us they have a lot of historical uses but that's really a conversation for another time uh, our relationship to invasive species but you do see those popping up a lot more in a natural community closer to where people are living well there you have it everybody Sometimes tending the wild is not all about going out and harvesting the most you can. Sometimes all you get is a half of a shovel and a bunch of empty bottles of trash. So, you heard it here first. <laughs>